Hey everyone, my name is Jake, and today I'm gonna to give you a super quick demo where I show you how to process 2.4 terabytes of data in less than two minutes using 10,000 CPUs and less than 30 lines of super simple Python code. Here I'm using Verla, the world's simplest cluster compute software. And as you can see, I'm just finishing up booting a cluster with 10,000 CPUs in it. To boot this cluster, all I did was in the settings tab, I specified the resources that I wanna boot and the Docker container that I want my code to run inside. Uh, let's take a quick look at the file system and then I'll get the code running. <clears throat> so the data set I'm using here is the data set for the one trillion row challenge, which is just a giant one trillion row table where one column is a name of a weather station and the other column is a temperature. And the goal with this is to just compute the average mean and max temperature for every single weather station in the data set as quickly as you can. Here, I have the data set split up as 1,000 different parquet files. Uh, now, this file system here, uh, whenever I put files here, they will appear in a folder in the current working directory in my cluster called shared. Uh, this is actually just Google Cloud Storage in the background, and it's mounted to every container in the cluster using GCS views. <clears throat> Let's take a quick look at the code and get it running. Here's my code and a old run that we're going to ignore. Uh, pretend that it wasn't there. And uh, the way Burla works is really simple. There's just one function in the entire Burla Python package. It's called remote parallel map. And the way that it works is you just pass it any Python function and a list of inputs to call it on. And when you run it, it runs that function on every input at the list at the same time, each in a separate container on whatever resources you have running in your cluster. Uh, here, we're going to call it and assign 10 CPUs to every single function instance that I run here. Uh, this function is just a simple DuckDB query that computes the average min uh, and max temperature for just one of those 1,000 parquet files. And we're going to run it with 10 CPUs each, all at the same time on all 1,000 of those files. Uh, let's give it a run. Should also mention uh, this returns a pandas data frame, this function, which is then aggregated at the bottom to produce one data frame with all the final results in it. Uh, now, you might have seen really quickly there that it said installing pandas. Uh, that is because, uh, as you saw earlier, I'm running the Python 3.12 Docker image, which does not come with pandas or DuckDB installed, but that's okay because Verla will realize that and install them really quickly in the cluster when run. We've already got some results coming in. Uh, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I was just finishing up booting the cluster. This cluster has nothing cached on it, nothing stored on it. This is a completely fresh cluster using data stored in Google Cloud Storage. Um, and then also, uh, you might think this is really expensive. And it is expensive, but it's not as expensive as you might think because this is running completely on spot instances. Uh, with Burla, uh, if spot instances are deleted in the middle of the job, the job will keep running. So we're using spot instances here and with a total of about three minutes of runtime, including booting and running the job, this should actually cost less than $10 to run this entire job. As you can see here, this is almost done. I'll give it another minute to finish up. Sometimes the last couple of inputs take the longest, depending on how happy Google Cloud Storage is. And awesome, just 76 seconds to process that whole data set. Hope this all made sense. Uh, reach out if anyone has any questions or wants to give Verla a try. We're always happy to help build uh, free prototypes, examples. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.